everyone and welcome back to my channel I'm really glad you're here um, so today's video is going to be a little bit different from what I normally do um, but it has been highly requested of me I was a little bit hesitant um, to make it or to talk about this subject because it is a little bit um, more touchy <laughs> but uh, you guys asked a lot in my uh, inbox and in the comments so I thought I would just go ahead and address it so um, today we're going to be talking about how to avoid or reduce stretch marks in pregnancy. Um, I have gone through two pregnancies, one to 40 weeks, and this one now at 37 weeks and have had zero stretch marks on my stomach. And so um, I just wanted to pass on my skincare routine to you all um, so you can have those tools and tips in your bags if avoiding stretch marks is something that you are aiming to do. Okay, so before we get started, a little disclaimer here. Obviously, I'm not a medical professional or a doctor. I'm not in charge of your care while you're pregnant, um, and I don't know your body as well as you or your doctor do. So before you take any of these tips um, or try to implement any of this into your routine, talk with your doctor first and make sure that it is okay for you and what you're supposed to be doing um, with your pregnancy. Okay. So um, I'm going to address the first thing that's going to come up head on and that is um, the topic of genetics when it comes to stretch marks. So when I first got pregnant with Evelyn, I started actively looking for ways to avoid or reduce stretch marks and I was very discouraged by what I found online because a lot of people just say, um, oh, it's just genetic and if you're going to get stretch marks, you'll get them and if not, then not. Um, and that was very discouraging to me because growing up, I did get stretch marks, one, when going through puberty. When I grew too fast, I got them on, on the inner parts of my thighs. I have quite a few there. Um, and then also when I gained weight a little bit um, too rapidly in high school, when I went to boarding school, I got my like freshman 15 very early. Um, and so I gained weight pretty rapidly and I got them on my sides here. Um, and so I knew that genetically, I was um, more predisposed to getting stretch marks, but here we are two pregnancies later and I still haven't gotten any stretch marks on my stomach. And so I feel like these tips that I'm about to pass on to you really did help to combat the genetic aspect of um, being predisposed to stretch marks. Um, so the first thing that I recommend doing every day that's great for your skin is to take a high quality prenatal vitamin from the time you're trying to conceive or at least from the time that you find out that you're pregnant. In addition to that, I take a low dose vitamin E supplement which just helps to amp up the um, nutrients that are available to my skin to encourage elasticity but supplementing alone is not enough you're also going to need to look at your diet um, try to be eating a skin friendly diet so one that's high in fruits um, that are hydrating to your skin and vegetables with a lot of nutrients um, just try to eat really nutrient dense foods um, i'm all about treating yourself in pregnancy i had like i have like a sweet treat almost every day um, but I try to complement that with um, you know, healthy foods as well so that all the nutrients that are circulating through my body at any given time, my skin will have what it needs um, as well as my baby will have what it needs to re remain healthy during pregnancy. So yeah, so just look at your diet, make sure you're complementing those treats um, and delicious foods that you're eating um, with some healthy nutrient dense foods as well. Now my last biggest tip, and this may be most important for your skin's health, is hydration. Just a second. Now when you're pregnant, your body needs a lot, a lot of water. Um, I've heard, always heard the recommendation that you should be drinking at least three liters of water a day. And since I've started doing that in my routine, with my last pregnancy, I noticed a big boost in my energy levels every day, um, my skin health, my body's health. Your body just needs a lot of water. You have a huge increase in blood volume. Your baby demands a lot of water and the amniotic fluid and, and encouraging its growth. Um, your metabolism, everything is, is using up water all day. So you need to be replenishing that. So your skin is going to be last in the food chain. Um, to receive the benefits of hydration. So make sure you're getting a lot of extra water in so that there's enough to go around for all of your body systems, including your skin. Um, if you're one of those people that gets 
heartburn from drinking water. I know I was there with you um, when I had really bad morning sickness. Water made it way worse. Um, but there are, I have a few um, tips that can help you to stomach some more. One is to make spa water. Um, two of my favorite recipes for spa water are to take strawberries, um, a little bit of basil, and some cucumber and soak it in a pitcher of water overnight. And that just gives it some great flavor as well as some electrolytes that help you to be um, a little bit more hydrated. I also make one with watermelon and a little bit of mint and both of those combinations make the water a little bit more palatable um, and also less harsh on my stomach so I'll put those little recipes down below if you're looking for a way to increase your water without um, just chugging it from the tap okay so now that we've covered the topic of internal nutrition let's talk about what you can do externally to encourage um, healthy elasticity in your skin during pregnancy. I recommend using only natural products on your body while you are pregnant if you want to encourage skin health. Um, now that goes all the way from your shampoos and conditioners. Look for ones that don't have um, any parabens or especially sulfates um, like sodium lauryl sulfate that's known to dehydrate your skin and dissolve the beneficial oils and it's just not very good for you. So if you're even if you're washing your hair with that or using soaps with that, it's going to run down over your stomach and it's going to dehydrate and just cause a lot of issues with that part of your skin. So if you want to have the healthiest start, try to use a natural product that's not going to be harsh on your skin. The next thing that I like to do is use a shea butter based body moisturizer and I use this twice a day, once in the morning and once at night. Try to make sure that one of those applications comes right after the bath or the shower because that's when your skin is most receptive to receiving this moisture. I do that twice a day from the time I find out I'm pregnant all the way through. <laughs> To the postpartum period if you're interested in which moisturizer i use for my last pregnancy i was buying a shea butter based um, natural body butter um, but it was very expensive i think it was around 30 dollars a jar i will link it below if you're interested in that one um, but this go around i was trying to be more economical and so i've been making my own whipped body butter um, i know exactly what goes into it and i bought all the ingredients on amazon and i think it was about 35 or 40 dollars for everything and i've had enough i've whipped up enough that has taken me all through pregnancy. I have jars of it everywhere um, that I go, in my purse, in my car. Um, and I also have a ton left over and I plan on making it for this baby when he arrives. I'm just gonna make an unscented version and use it as a baby moisturizer. So spending that one uh, load of 30 or 40 bucks has taken me through the whole pregnancy and beyond. Um, and I actually made a video on how I make this body butter and I will link that below. If you're interested in that, um, you can make your own and then We'll be using the same thing. Um, so like I said, I use that twice a day, once in the morning and once before bed. And I also keep a small jar of it in my car and in my purse. And if I ever feel, dogs, <laughs> if I ever feel that my skin is dry um, or itchy or dehydrated, I just add another layer. So just, it's a little bit neurotic, but just keep it with you and just consistently moisturize wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Um, make sure that your stomach stays hydrated. I also use this Jason brand um, 32,000 IU high concentrate vitamin E. If I ever feel that there's an area that's burning or stretching or starting to turn red on my stomach, then I apply that concentrated vitamin E specifically to that area and I massage it in for several minutes. Um, and I've feel like that has staved off a few stretch marks that were starting to form. So this product is one that I highly recommend having on hand and just if you find those itchy spots, just apply it and really rub it in. So that about sums up my pregnancy belly care routine. It all comes down to internal nutrition, taking good vitamins, eating good food and staying hydrated, as well as moisturizing, moisturizing, moisturizing um, at least two times a day. So I hope you guys found some of these tips helpful, um, whether you're dealing with an itchy belly right now or you're planning for pregnancy and you're hoping to avoid stretch marks. Obviously this is not um, the end all be all. <laughs> <laughs> for stretch mark advice there's so much out there so if you have tips or products that work for you be sure to leave them down below so that other moms can find them and um wishing you all the best in your pregnancies and i will see you in the next one adios everybody I love you. I love you.